everyone welcome to our next video lecture we are running the course of design of ap machine in unit number 1 we have design of ap machine that is ap induction motor in this video lecture we will discuss about the main dimension main dimensions are very important in case of uh, any design of rotating machine main dimension that is uh, d capital b and l will discuss significance of main dimension and then will discuss significance of output coefficient we have already derived uh, one output equation and in case of uh, output equation we have seen that uh, output coefficient is very important output coefficient and the relationship uh, with uh, our volume volume of active part and that decides the size of the machine so meanwhile we will also discuss the factors which are affecting the size of the number one first of all let us consider main dimension as shown in figure we can see that uh, there is a stator there is a, a rotor and in between we have air gap the armature diameter or stator bore diameter it is capital b and the armature or stator core length l are known as the main dimension of the rotating machine we normally start our designing with the main dimension that is b and l now let us consider output coefficient again we have derived equation for uh, power developed in armature that is co d square l and multiplied by n where co that is equal to pi square multiplied by specific magnetic load multiplied by specific electric load multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 the value of the quantity is known as output coefficient so this way we can derive our output equation output equation is very important relationship between a rating and main dimension of machine for any given a uh, rating of machine to start the design we need to start with uh, finding the main dimensions now let us interpret uh, our output equation as i said earlier that uh, d square l that is the volume of, of machine it is inversely proportional to speed as well as output coefficient the volume of machine will decrease with increase in speed and or increase in output coefficient meaning is volume of active part and therefore the size and cost of the machine decrease with increase in speed and or output coefficient so size of the machine or rather volume of the machine and cost of the machine that is very important so let us find uh, or discuss rather uh, factors which affects the size of the rotating machine we first consider speed it is clear from the output equation that uh, volume of active part is inversely proportional to speed for any given output if machine is designed with greater speed will have smaller size and lesser cost as compared to machine which is designed with smaller speed therefore whenever at whenever we have a choice to make 
for design of any machine the highest practical rating of the speed should be selected however the maximum speed may be limited by mechanical stress that is generated in the armature at the same time let us consider another factor that is known as output coefficient again from output equation we observe that the volume of active part that is d square l is inversely proportional to the value of output coefficient and increase in the value of output coefficient result in reduction in size and cost of the machine and so looking from the economic point of view the value of output coefficient should be selected as maximum as possible since the output coefficient is proportional to the product of specific magnetic as well as specific electric loading we can say that uh, with increase in specific magnetic loading and specific electric loading the size and cost of the machine will decrease however there are certain limitation uh, also to choose the maximum permissible value of specific magnetic as well as specific electric loading we have another video lecture that is uh, for total loading and selection of specific magnetic as well as specific electric loading and we have uh, emphasized the various factor in that lecture video lecture so thank you very much